We've talked about it. We're finally getting around to doing it, highlighting some of the causes and charities uh, that we're passionate about here at 10 Capital. This week, we've got John Neal of the Community Cancer Fund. John, thanks for joining us. Uh, this is not a State Farm commercial, no matter how much John and I uh, might look, to, nor did I dictate what he had to wear as he came in here today. Um, <laughs> but in all sincerity, thanks for joining us. Community Cancer Fund, uh, which you head up, uh, a cause that's been near and dear to myself and, and really the 10 Capital community. We've done some client engagement events with, with you all at some of the events in the past. So appreciate you coming and sharing more about the story. Well, thank you so much for having me, Tim. Yeah. It's, a, it's a treat to be here and always always fun to talk about Community Cancer Fund and yeah. the great things we do for the community. I think when people think about uh, charities and cancer, they think cures. Uh, one of the things that really attracted me to Community Cancer Fund in particular is that you guys are actually trying to address a different need within those individuals and families struggling with a tough diagnosis. Could you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, absolutely. When the, when the disease strikes, it requires community. And that's certainly where Community Cancer Fund has, has stepped in. Mm -hmm. And what we've prided ourselves in, in doing over the past many years um, is being a conversation starter, you know, first for the community, a unifier, understanding that there's various agencies, there's various organizations yeah. that, that provide support. Many of those have fundraising shortfalls Community Cancer Fund steps in, helps those organizations provide those needs. Um, but certainly we've been, we've invested, we've donated, we've created programs that really help the cancer patient support matrix, you know, for, for the entire Inland Northwest. And that includes, there's financial hardships that come with the disease. The focus needs to be on taking care of, of yourself, taking care of the patient, taking care of your child. And the last thing that you want to think about is how are you going to pay your bills? How are you going to provide food on the table? Uh, when you come to Spokane, which is a, a regional medical hub mm -hmm. for treatment, is where are you going to stay? You know, what's the lodging? Uh, what's the accommodations? And so that's where Community Cancer Fund has, has really stepped in to help to make sure that when you are fighting the disease, you have everything that you need to be able to focus on it and beat it. Yeah, no, I know uh, for a lot of you watching, uh, you know, the, the story of, of Rach and I and, and, and Ellie as hard and gut wrenching as that season uh, was for us. We would come in and out of the NICU in that case. But again, another um, high risk, high need area and, and see people who we yeah. could, you know, deduce were making choices between being with kid and right. keeping their job or being able to make rents and um, the fact that you guys are stepping in and, and, and helping that need. The relationship with Ronald McDonald House, I think people probably may have heard about that or have driven by those homes. You guys are doing some interesting things together as well. Yeah, very close partner with Ronald McDonald House, both here in Spokane uh, and in Coeur d'Alene. And, and that partnership has, has grown from a uh, a relationship in which, again, the accommodations, the lodging, um, and, and very similarly, you know, the one that, uh, you know, provided the inspiration, you know, for us to form uh, Community Cancer Fund, which is that when, and particularly with, with children that are, that are suffering from the disease, keeping families together right. is vital. Yep. It's vital. You, you can get the very best uh, medical treatment, but it's that emotional, the psychological part that, that really begins to turn the corner for a lot of patients right. in, in getting better. Yeah. And so uh, what we understand is that when families travel to Spokane for their treatment and it involves a, a young child is making sure that the family can stay together. You keep the nucleus in, intact so that that way mom and dad can go to treatment. The kid can come back to Ronald McDonald House and, and be in an environment that isn't one that's a stale, you know, hospital right. environment. You know, it's full of joy, it's full of happiness. There's great, you know, arts and crafts and, and activities for, for kids mm -hmm. to do along with full kitchens. Mm -hmm. um, so that's the part that yeah. uh, when, when we've come together and united with, with uh, Ronald McDonald House, that that's, that's certainly uh, struck a strong chord for us. Let's talk about the need, we've talked about the need how, how do we meet that need? What are some of the different events? I'm sure people can donate at any point in time, um, but what, what are some of the fun ways that people can support the cause and, and, and do some cool stuff as well that you guys have planned? Yeah, certainly. Um, 
the donation option is, is always available through our website at communitycancerfund.org. Uh, but certainly, um, we have two big events uh, that we host. Uh, our biggest is called the Showcase, which is uh, coming up at the end of, the Ju of July. Uh, it's a great opportunity for, uh, for individuals to, to participate both through our, our concert party experience mm -hmm. um, that, that we host on the shores of, of Lake Coeur d'Alene. Yep. Uh, and then the other part is, is those that wanna come out and cheer on the celebrity golfers that yeah. many of whom are sport legends, mm -hmm. uh, like the Wayne Gretzky's, the Richard Dent's, right. the Marcus Allen's, uh, and that takes place on Saturday, July 29th out at the uh, Coeur d'Alene uh, Golf Resort. And then the other opportunity is a, is a brand new inaugural event that we're hosting yeah, we're uh, in the fall. Yeah, very excited about this. Yeah. Uh, 10 Capital is, is involved and we appreciate that very, very much. Yeah. Uh, it's called the Boulevard Race. Our showcase event uh, is one that's very exclusive uh, and we were looking to uh, roll out an event where everyone uh, can participate. And so we will be running the boulevard mm -hmm. on the streets of, of downtown Spokane, uh, awesome. closing off all the streets, mm -hmm. turning it into a big city road race, right. uh, anticipating about 5,000 people uh, in our first year. Uh, and it does two things. Number one, uh, it presents another great event uh, for the city of Spokane that we all love. Mm -hmm. And number two, uh, it raises awareness uh, and raises funds for cancer, for the fight and, and supporting the cancer patient community the way that, that we need to. These are coming up hot showcases, uh, probably two, three, two and a half weeks from when we're filming this. Uh, Boulevard, as you, as you said, is, it, is this fall. Are there spots still available for any of those? For those there who, are. 2024, we can get, you can get ahead, but yeah. for 2023, there's still some space? Yeah, there's still a few concert packages that you, that you can uh, investigate. Are we, are we talking about who's coming? Uh, you know, uh, that is under wraps. Okay, <laughs> they're big. I'll just say that, yeah. they're big. Enormous, enormous. Enormous, yeah. enormous is the word. So yeah, uh, you could buy those tickets pretty much sight unseen and guarantee you, you have a great time. Golf people can still, yep. and, and would they go to the website then to pick they up would. tickets for they that? Yep. Tell a little bit about that experience outside. So it's at the Coeur d'Alene? Yeah, it is. It's at the, uh, the Coeur d'Alene Resort Golf Course, uh, right there on the shores of Lake Coeur d'Alene with the uh, very famous floating green. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll have approximately 40 celebrity golfers uh, that are NHLers, that are MLBers, NBA players, coaches. Uh, and so certainly it's a great opportunity for, for autographs and, and just seeing sport legends play. Yeah. Um, we'll also have the, the Gonzaga men's basketball team out there to, to sign autographs. So we're very excited yeah. about that. Yeah. And then there's a fan experience out there as well, where we have great food with food courts. Uh, We've got a um, great bar, you know, experience. Yeah. We've got slushies out there for the for the kids. So yeah. just a fantastic cool. way to so family could be a good family day. Absolutely, awesome. and so just a great way to, to go out experience Lake Coeur d'Alene and uh, in late July. Yeah, and then tickets still available for the Boulevard race at this point. Absolutely, plenty so at this point, plenty plenty of availability. Race entry is only twenty five dollars to do the race, and again, that's something that we are doing by design to encourage everyone to participate. Right. Um, it's essentially free because they get a $25 off Rosars coupon yeah. uh, when they sign up. There you go. Uh, and then the shirts are designed by the great P&W. Uh, awesome. So Joel Barber has done a, a fantastic job. So yeah. those $25 entries for the Sunday, September 24th Boulevard yeah. race remain open. But as soon as we fill up with 5,000, uh, we'll put a lid on it and, and uh, just have a blast on the streets yeah. of Spokane. Well, it's not often you get to do the first thing of something. Yeah. It'd be pretty cool to say I was in the first Hoop Fest. I hear people brag about that or the first Blooms Day. Yep. This will be the first Boulevard race. Well, thank you. Thank you for all your work. Great cause. And we get asked all the time, do you, do you know some other causes I support? Um, this is one that I personally and uh, many of my teammates believe in um, doing great work here in the community. So thank you very much yeah, for joining Thank you so much, Dan. Appreciate right. it. Thanks.